This morning, Dr. Jorgensen is going to show us how to brush her dog Percy's teeth with a finger toothbrush. One of the key rules when you're brushing a dog's teeth is the most important part to brush is along the gum line. So if you look here at this dental model, you want to brush right along this area, right here where the tooth meets the gum. This is a normal um, gum line right here. Turning on this side, you can see where the gums have receded. This is an example of a dog who has probably had tartar buildup in the past and now some gum recession. This is what we want to avoid when you're brushing a dog's teeth. <laughs> so, using like a little pediatric baby finger brush she loves and pet toothpaste, which is what seems like a gross flavor of poultry, but Percy quite likes it. Um, get a little, just a little dab, and this is a great way to check his teeth every day for me too, or even four days a week, or three, and just a gentle brush along the gum line like Dr. Marty said. We do each side, and it's not his most favorite thing, but toothpaste is pretty tasty for him, and that's why we have to use a pet toothpaste so that he can lick and swallow it and just go along those gum lines and not even trying to get on the inside of that those teeth. I also combine it with dental chews. If we didn't brush our teeth that day or if he's a really lucky boy um, he gets a tooth brushing and a dental chew. He likes to clean out his brush and I make sure to rinse it out afterwards too. And we get a little t treat at the end of getting our teeth brushed as well for being a good boy. So t Percy was really well behaved for that. Dogs who are a little bit more wiggly, you can even hold their muzzles closed so that you can come up with your finger and brush along the teeth, even if they don't want to open their mouth. He likes to lick his toothpaste. He so does. It works well for him. He does. And that's it.